how to become a successful mindfulness teacher or coach or trainer. In this video, I'm going to give you a couple of tips that will help you along that journey and I hope that it serves you well. I've been doing this job full time for seven years and I've noticed that there really isn't a lot of content out there about how to actually get started with it. A lot of certifications out there, but beyond the certifications, how do you establish yourself? How do you gain students, create a community, make an impact, these type of things. So my intention in this video is really just to skim the surface in a couple of minutes, maybe three, and then we'll dive deeper into them uh, as we progress along. So the first one is to really just understand what kind of teacher you are or what kind of teacher you want to be. And I say teacher or coach, trainer, really depends on how you want to frame it, but it's very important to get that clear in your mind. And when you have it clear, then you know how you can be of service to your audience. The second is just that. How can you be of service to your audience? Looking at the kind of people that you see in your community and how you, with your personality, can help them. So it really depends on your, st your delivery style, depends on your background. Uh, for myself, I have more of a marketing and sales background, so hence I'm making this video for you guys to help you and I hope that it's of service to you. But it took me a long time to realize that. Uh, so number three is to really start to get out there. And just know that you're, you're gonna make a lot of mistakes in the process, a lot of phone calls, a lot of meetings, a lot of coffee meetings, tea meetings, and that's great. But really starting to execute and being around as many people as you can to be of service to them. Now if you have started teaching or you haven't started teaching, it's really important just to know to start with just one person. You yourself have a skill that you've learned over time and now you want to share that skill of mindfulness with others. And what better way to just start with one person. You don't have to start with a thousand people or a huge class. Just start small and work your way up from there. And the last tip in this very, very short video that I have for you guys is have a conversation with yourself. Really understand, is this what you really, really want to do? And when you totally get it clear in your head that this is it, there's really nothing else out there in terms of your career and you want to totally devote yourself to this craft and there's nothing that could stop you unless you're, you're dead or unconscious, interesting things start to happen. Very, very interesting things start to happen. Of course, you have to take massive action and be of service to others, but when you really get in your mind that this is it, they're gonna to start to impact people on very, very deep levels. So it's a very short summary. I hope it's of service to you. This is one of many videos to come to really target towards mindfulness teachers or coaches in that industry. Uh, this is something that I'm super passionate about and I hope that it's helpful. So as always, I'll see you in the next one. Adios.